people seem to think that genetic engineering is a worldview or an agricultural system, whereas it's just a tool for changing the genetics of a plant in a way that you might want, whether that is to resist uh, insects that are uh, attacking the plant or to reduce the uh, dependence of the, uh, of the plants on fertilizers and things like that. And you can do those kinds of things with breeding as well. Uh, sometimes that's a sl slow, drawn-out process. And you can do that with genetic engineering. And uh, to say that uh, genetic engineering requires that you grow it in a certain fashion, that's, I think that's probably one of the bigger things that people don't understand about it. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to in the next uh, decade is uh, nitrogen use efficiency, where you can spray less uh, fertilizer on your crop and get the same amount of, uh, of, of basically food or whatever it is you're growing out of that field. And that's one of the big limiting factors in agriculture, um, even in organic agriculture. They don't have a lot of nitrogen to use because they can't use synthetic fertilizers. And if you can spray less fertilizer, which takes a lot of energy to produce, and get the same amount of food, then that's going to be a really good thing. But there's another thing that I'm really looking forward to, and those are the biofortified crops. Crops that have had their composition altered to make them healthier in some fashion. These are being developed primarily for developing countries because they have so many issues with malnutrition. They've got a lot of other structural issues, but at least there's a way to help with uh, 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 improving the plants that they grow. Golden rice is coming out in the next couple of years, and I'm really interested to see how people um, think about that, how they approach this topic. It hasn't been grown, and people haven't been eating it, but now it's going to be the case. And people didn't see the tangible benefits from uh, the benefits that farmers would see, but the consumers really didn't see any tangible benefits. But they're going to start to see some benefits for themselves. And I think it's going to start changing a few minds. Life is going to get more complicated when it comes to agriculture and plants as we're dealing with climate change, we're dealing with drought, floods, um, and uh, water is going to be scarce, all these things. And we not only need to be able to have these possibilities become a reality, we also need people to know enough about it so that they can make informed decisions about uh, the future of agriculture.